This is a general overview of a Steyr Pook Pinsgauer 710 driveline. Here are two Pinsgauer 710 drivelines that are being disassembled. The one in the foreground has had the torque tube removed, so you can see how the drive shaft is connected between the front differential and the transfer case. This is the speedometer wheel, which connects to the speedometer pinion, which spins the speedometer cable, giving the vehicle's road speed. On the back side of the front differential is the bearing housing or witch's hat, which contains the locker mechanism for the front axle, which is activated by the front locker slave cylinder. With the torque tube removed, you can see how the witch's hat on the front differential connects the drive shaft to the witch's hat on the transfer case. Behind the transfer case is a small intermediate shaft that connects to the rear differential. Here the drive line spins as it would going down the road in two-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive has been engaged manually. You can now see how the shaft from the transfer case to the front differential is now rotating. With the drive line and two wheel drive, we apply a small amount of pressure to the left rear inner shaft. Notice how the ring stops and starts when pressure is applied and released. With the upper differential housing removed, as well as the boots, you can clearly see how the axle housing moves up and down. With the drive line rotating, we move the axle shafts up and down as they would in suspension travel. Here it's a little over exaggerated as the pins that restrict the axle housing's movement are actually located on the differential upper housing. But for illustration purposes, we're over exercising them. But it gives you a good idea of what's going on in that differential as you're going down the road or driving off road. This is the locking mechanism located inside the witch's hat. The clutch and selector sleeve have been removed from the witch's hat, so you can see how the selector fork moves back and forth with activation from the slave cylinder. We have removed the witch's hat from the back of the rear differential and left the clutch and the selector sleeve in place. As you pull the lever down on the dashboard, the selector sleeve slides forward onto the pinion, locking the differential gear. This is a slightly different angle of the back of the rear differential. The witch's hat has been removed. The clutch and selector sleeve have been left in place. As we rotate the drive line, we apply a small amount of force to the left half shaft, causing the pinion gear to stop rotation. We then slide the collar forward, which is the same as pulling the lever in the center of the dash down, locking the pinion and the differential gear together. 